Hi guys, it's Mari and Kelly and I have decided to scrap lift ourselves this week using the contents of our stash kits and the layout that I'm going to be um, lifting um, of my own. So I'm going to be lifting this layout that I created myself and this layout I did last summer, I guess maybe August or right after this trip last August. So that's probably what I did this. And um, just a whole bunch of different things going on here. Use some stamps, um, a bunch of different mixed media. I think I used my ink, uh, Inca Golds and some texture paste. Actually, maybe this was some gel medium and uh, just a bunch of different things. Some wood veneer, different layering techniques used here and so on to create this layout. So what I'm going to do today is try to kind of duplicate this layout using a photograph that's about the same dimensions as this and the same general um, idea as this layout. So that's what I'm going to be doing and I'll be back in a few seconds to start the process. Okay, so I'm just going to start out with this um, mint green colored cardstock instead of white this time. And so the original layout I started off, my base was white, but this one I wanted to do something a little bit different, mix it up. And this is what I had in my stash kit. So I'm going to start off with this piece of uh, cardstock that's textured. And I've just adhered that to some patterned paper that I also had in the stash kit that's got those little diamonds on it and it's kind of distressed. And I'm going to just kind of mark off where I want that picture to go and then I'm going to start to stamp around it using these Prima stamps. So I just want to kind of keep a general idea of where that photo is going to go and I'm just going to take these Prima stamps and stick down or stamp down some um, shapes here, some patterns using this archival ink in black. Now I really like this ink because it's waterproof and I wasn't exactly sure what else I was going to do for mixed media. So the great thing is that that won't move once it's dry. So I wanted to use this to give me that option to add something with moisture on top of that. And I'm going to use these stamps, these larger circles and a couple of smaller circles and a few spots here as well. The great thing about stamps is you can use them on your layouts, you can use them on cards, you can use them in your art journal if you're working in your art journal and so on. So I really love these Prima stamps because they're, they're very, very versatile for sure. And I'm just going to stamp those around a little bit. That original layout also had some of these exact same stamps on it. And I'm just kind of duplicating that idea here putting them in a diagonal sort of pattern from the bottom left hand corner to the top right. And now I'm going to take this Crafters Workshop stencil and I'm going to use this golden modeling paste here with my, my palette knife and I'm going to put this down just to create some texture and I haven't added any color to it uh, simply because I, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want any color there. I just wanted it to add texture rather than color. So I'm going to add that in both of those areas as well in the corners at the top and the bottom for that texture. And the great thing about modeling paste is that um, it just, you know, it doesn't take very long to dry and it does add a really cool effect to your layout or to your project, whatever it is that you're working on. So now I decided that I wanted to add some dazzlers, some shimmers dazzlers in bright yellow and I'm going to stick this down, put this down in a few different little spots. Once I put it down there though, I realized that it's the wrong color of yellow for the layout. So you'll actually end up seeing me um, covering up these little yellow dots here in a little bit. But I wanted to just leave this in just to show you. Um, that this actually would have worked out very well if it was the right color of yellow because it is really pretty and I love these dazzlers. Um, it's a great product and it adds a really neat effect to any project, whatever it is, whether it's scrapbooking or whatever it is that you're working on. So I do really love the dazzlers. And I just wanted to say this is the third time or fourth maybe that I did, I've did. i done the narration for this layout. I just finished it and it was not bad. It was fine. It was all good. And I pressed cancel instead of save. <laughs> so sad face. Anyway, um, 
Now I am just going to start to map my photo here. And funny thing about this is I actually don't end up using this either. I end up changing the paper. So I'm kind of showing you all of the things that I didn't leave on the layout. And I really love this paper. It's super cute, but I only had this one little square of it. And I wanted to use, I realized I wanted to use it in another spot on the layout as well. So I didn't have enough of it. So I end up changing the, the um, paper all together here so that it matches another another uh, area of the layout. So that's something that I tend to do with my layouts is repeat the patterned paper in a few spots just to create that continuity throughout the, the layout, depending on the layout, I guess, or what I, how I'm, what the design is, but that's what I did here. So that's how it looks now, but I'm going to change that. So I used a lot of the the jelly bean soup collection from last spring and I kind of forget what the name of it is but it is really pretty and I love this paper with the text on it the writing or the, what the content of the text is perfect for this layout the photograph is a picture of my son and his girlfriend and this was taken at Easter time this year when they were out at Ottawa they were in Ottawa for for Easter with my sister and so obviously that's in the spring and this um yeah, so this is kind of a springy layout. So that's sort of part of the theme that I went with here. And this text paper worked perfectly for that. It's the right color and has the right theme to it too. So I liked that. Now you're gonna see me just change things up here. So you can see that I've added those circles there to the layout with this little circle punch, uh, just to cover up those little yellow dots. And it actually looks kind of cool. It looks like, um, well, it adds, just adds a little bit of extra texture there too. And I actually ended up taking this text paper and cutting it into a larger piece just because uh, that other piece I didn't feel was the right dimensions for the layout. And this yellow polka dot paper, I actually ended up getting out of my stash. It wasn't in the kit, um, but I did want to add this tone of yellow in because it is the same color as um, Paul's shirt in, this, in the uh, picture. And I just... I, that's why that ye other yellow, the yellow shimmers didn't work, right? Because it was the wrong tone. So at first I thought I was going to outline with my pen on this piece of paper, and I do end up doing that after, but right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to ink up the edges of the different pattern papers in the layout. So I'm just going to take this pumice stone distress ink, and I'm going to just add that extra color to the edges. And what that does is it just defines the edges of your paper and kind of it brings it up off of the layout a little bit so that it doesn't seem so flat, which is a nice effect in the end. And that's why I end up distressing the edges of the papers as I go along here too. So you can see that I've folded up the edges of that yellow paper. And I'm going to do the same with most of the pattern paper in this layout, just distress the edges a little bit. And this text paper, I end up distressing it quite a bit. And you'll see that at the end when I show you the finished layout and the, and the still shots as well. So I'm going to just keep adding this ink to the edges here. And I know this is boring to watch. I apologize. That's, it's not much fun. I guess I should have, I, I could always edit this out, but I'm, I'm too lazy, right? So sorry about that. If you want, you can just fast forward that part. Um, so here you can just see that I have taken that paper and I have distressed the edges, but I do even more of that later. And now I'm just going to take this tiny little black dot and I'm going to use this for another layer. This is that pink paisley paper that was the original paper that Kelly and I used for our, um, inspiration piece for the entire layout. And I don't know if I'll use the other side of it. I'm not really sure. I. I should because I really love the other side of it, but I'm not sure um, if I'll get to that in another layout or not. I'm actually really curious to see if Kelly and I have a lot of similarities be between our layouts again this week because that seems to be how it's gone is we are a little bit surprised and we chat about that. Oh, you use the same color scheme or whatever. So it's kind of funny. So we'll see how that goes. And I just wanted to offset this yellow paper a little bit so that it's a little bit longer on the right side than the left, just because I think it looks interesting that way. And I'm going to add a bunch of embellishments to that right side as well. So um, it kind of 
lends itself to being longer on that side. And I'm going to do the journaling in the top left-hand corner, so it kind of adds some balance to it also. Now, I really love this side of this paper. It's super cute. I love all of those different colors, and they definitely go well with the entire layout here. So I'm just going to use this as the pattern paper that's going to show on this side of the layout. And I'm going to just get that down, and now I'm going to add some more of that polka dot paper here to each side and pretty soon I'm going to start working on getting that photograph on here and you'll be able to see how I changed up the the mat there so I've got that yellow polka dot paper right behind the photo as the mat and I'm going to start working on a few embellishments so that die cut in the upper left hand corner of the butterfly is from the jelly bean soup collection and I'm just going to put a little wood veneer flower up there which is also from that same jelly bean soup collection and I'm going to add this little dimensional sticker from uh, Maggie Holmes collection I don't remember which one but it's one of those little butterflies I know lots of you have those and it's from it is from an older one but those are so cute and you actually could probably make those fairly easily but it does definitely match the theme of spring and the colors, so I wanted to use that for sure here. So I'm gonna put a few other little wood veneer here and there, um, just to create some more little embellishment interest on the layout. And I'm going to add this little die cut, which is a little banner, still from that same collection. and. I'm going to do a little bit of journaling up beside that butterfly in the top left hand corner and I'm also going to do a little bit of stamping up there too using some stamps from my Felicity Jane kits. I love using stamps on my layouts and I just think that they add an extra little bit of different interest to the layout that, that, um, that looks cool. I'm going to add this little flower die cut in here. I'm going to stick that by that butterfly there. And I'm almost done. So once I'm done showing you the few little embellishments that I'm going to do here, we're going to have a little transition and then I'll show you the layout when it's all finished. And if you want to go back to the beginning and compare it to the other layout, you can do that to the original. I'll also link up the process for the original video in the description below so that you can see if you want to watch the uh, process for that you can. I'm going to add a wood veneer and this foam thicker phrase as my title, Us Together. And then like I said I'll just do that little bit of journaling up in the corner and the layout will be finished. So if you feel like you want to join in with Kelly and I on any of these challenges uh, we would love to hear how things went for you. You can always leave a comment or you could uh, share some, some of the things that you did um, in social media with us. Um, all of my social media links are going to be at the end of the video if you want to check that out. And please make sure that you hop on over to Kelly's uh, channel and watch her video as well where she scrap lifts herself also. So um, thanks so much for joining us. I'm just showing here where I am putting the, have put the lines on that paper with my pen. So thanks so much for joining us for Scrap the Challenge today. Have an amazing day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.